Cowboy Dipper here, and he's going going to do a review on some Long Cut Cope Whiskey Blend. Presentation, it doesn't really, I don't really like the presentation. I like the gold, I just don't like the really the rest of it. Because to me, looks like they were trying to copy Copenhagen Black and Copenhagen Natural. Just looks like they really didn't make it much different than them. Uh, but, to so by September 6, 2015, it's guaranteed fresh. Mm, it's 100% American grown tobacco. Go to freshcope.com. Yeah. And we're spitting in the yellow jug today. The yellow jug. So, metal plastic. Let's see what we get for, for pinchability. Yeah, for pack and pinchability. So it's had two dips out of it. Three, yeah, three dips out of it. So packability was good. But tell me if you guys always get this with Cope Whiskey Blend. It's always like sort of dry. Dry, yeah, dry. Dry look to it, then when you put one in, it's dry also. Um, pinchability is very well. Yeah, pinchability is really good. So, cheers if you're packing a dip with me. Do I get any floaters out of this? Yeah, I get some little itty bitty pieces. It's hard to get packed down in your mouth too. And I don't know if that's just me, but I'm trying to get it with my tongue. Um. It's a really good flavor. I can compare it to Copenhagen Black. Um, one is stronger than the other, but then I can also taste more. They, it has more of a tobacco flavor, okay? Just that really good to bourbon, bourbon tobacco flavor. It's, it's really sweet. It's sweet, like a uh, sweet whiskey taste. And it stays in my mouth okay. It doesn't break off or any, it doesn't break off or anything. It's kind of, like I don't know, I've had this before. I don't know if it's just this can or if they've done something to it, the tobacco company, but does it burn my mouth? Yeah, it'll give it, a, it'll rough it up a little bit, but you know, if I was going to compare it to anything else for rough, it's not as rough as wintergreen or any grizzly. The only grizzly that I can say that this one's not a that this one be rougher, rougher than is the mint, or the grizzly mint. But spitability, it is pretty good. It is pretty good. Spitability gets about a five.
Staying in my mouth gets a five. Pack ability gets a five. Pinch ability gets a five. Because it didn't really impress me all that much. This dip really doesn't impress me. The only thing that impresses me with this dip really truly is the flavor. The can doesn't even impress me. Even though it does look cool, it still doesn't impress me any. It's just... Just to me, it seems like Copenhagen's trying to have the same can. Just change it up just a little bit every time. But make them almost the same. But what would I give this dip overall? An 8. An 8. I would give it an 8. Now it is high up there. But I won't be able to do too many copes. Because for some reason copes are like gone. According to some people. And I can't find them. So. There's this dip packed together in my mouth. Like what I mean by that is like all the dip stays together. No. It kind of has that break off a little bit. That's where I get the little itty bitty pieces of floaters. But it does have a good taste to it, but I still would prefer the Copenhagen Black over this. Um, does this give me a buzz? Hey, it might give you guys a buzz the first time. It doesn't even give me a buzz. It just... <clears throat> it's a pretty subtle dip. It's, it's bold. It does not stand out to me as being a kick-you-in-the-face dip. There's just one thing all I can taste is a flavor. It's just the whiskey flavor, okay? So, that was the review, okay? Kind of my little review on it. So, Cowboy Dipper says, keep on packing a lip 24-7, keep on... Um, Cowboy Dipper is now out. Thumbs up the video, like the video, share the video, whatever. Comment if you'd like. Tell me what you guys think of this. Um, write me on Facebook and we'll do a Q&A video if you'd like. That's Gus Cutler on Facebook. So if you'd like a shout out, I will write down your name. After you give me a question on Facebook. And I'm only doing the first 30 people. And that's it. On shout outs forever. After that. If you don't do it, no shout outs. If I get on Facebook and no one's messaged me for uh, a question. To do a Q&A video. No one gets shout out. So that's so you better get your shout outs. And because I'll do... I'll do 50, 50 questions. I'll answer 50 questions. 30, at the 20 at the least. And if there are less than that, I will not do one. So, thank you for tuning in.